for another round of this daily event, and we've lost another, lost another die roll. But I, on plus side, I got my uh, my keyboard shortcut set up, so I can actually press buttons that do things now. Um, this looks like an okay hand, but I'm concerned because it's kind of one creature, and if he's a deck with, you know, removal spells, that could bite us. So I think I am actually going to go to six here. You can afford to be... Yeah, this is much better. You can afford to be quite aggressive with your mulligans in this deck. You don't need a ton of cards to have a very efficient hand. Very strong hand. So they play an island into... Oh, it's mono blue. Uh, mono blue we can deal with. I think. We're going to go Crusader turn one here. Um, you know, Tidebinder Mage is annoying, but actually that gets through it. Um, what are the other turn two plays this deck does? Frostburn Weird. Frostburn Weird would be a pain. Wouldn't be a ton I could do about that. Ash Celis with a Dyna Charge, like, would kind of be my out to, to Frostburn Weird. Could see Judges Familiar here. So it's not going to be Tidebinder or Judge or uh, Frostburn Weird. I'm expecting a Judge's Familiar. Yeah, okay. Uh, he doesn't have activation up on the Muta Vault, which is totally cool. So I think we're just going to go heavy on the Ash Shallot here. Uh, I'm not going to swing with the Crusader, obviously, because it just gets eaten by the Cloudfin, but I'm going to go Ash Shallot attack. Um, Ash Salad is one of those decks that's like as fast as us, you know? Um, ugh. More Mutavolt. More Clad Fin. Could see an attack with this Mutavolt, but that seems really sketchy. Okay, that's no problem. So yeah, he's leaving back a mute of all time blocks. Alright. So we got options on how we play this. Smart move seems to be Burning Tree Ash Salad attack with both Ash Salads. I think that's the play I'm going to make. The other option is just the Ash Salad. Attack with everything and have Dyna charge up for the Crusader to trade for something. Um, which will probably be a Cloudfin Raptor. Which leaves me with a 1-1. One, one. And then if he doesn't go for that or if yeah, if he doesn't go for that I can Crusader post combat. That seems okay. That actually seems pretty good. Because Burning Tree Emissary. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Could be 100% wrong. I haven't got a ton of experience with this particular. Like, a red deck this low curve. I've been playing a lot of red this standard, but I've been mostly pairing it with green in sort of. Um, a more aggressive monsters build. That was what I was running for most of this standard season. I didn't like the um, the late curve in the monsters decks. I think it was actually advantageous for me that uh, that monsters exist as a, as a deck um, when I was running that deck because people would see you know turn one stomping ground and expect to have a bit of time. Um. Alright. I'm going to go for the Dime Charge here. There's nothing he could have. All he has up is Muta Vaults. Overloading Dana Charge awkwardly doesn't trigger a Crone Crusader. Which is sad. Alright. 
so we got him for four there. That's pretty good. So we're going to see a typewriter anyway, mage. Just going to lock down an ash salad, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. No problem. I'm going to take a bit of damage here from Judge's Familiar, probably. Wouldn't be surprised if Cloud from Raptor. Okay, Cloud from Raptor didn't come in as well, but uh, it's not. Not an unreasonable play. Okay, Fire Fist Strike is quite good here. I think the play I'm going to make is just Ash Zealot's going to come in. If he wants to double block in such a way he can kill it, he's going to lose a Type Binder Mage. Which is totally fine by me. And we're going to go Striker. To what? I meant to say I meant to play Burning Tree there. That was that was not some tech that I was uh, that I was holding up. I just didn't play the Burning Tree because I'm falling asleep here. But yeah, that was obviously very poor. I should have played Burning Tree first there. Having another attacker would have been very useful. And that unfortunately means. I have to throw away a 1 1 in order to trigger Battalion and Fire Fist Striker. Which is pretty miserable, gotta say. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack with Ash Shallot, Fire Fist Striker, and this soldier. And I'm going to target Judge's Familiar with the Fire Fist Striker's trigger. The reason being, I don't want the Striker to trade for a Judge's Familiar. I'd wanted to trade for something relevant and I'm fine with him eating a soldier I think that's, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to play this I'm still pissed at myself for not casting that burning tree just really, really poor play see immutable vault activation presumably going to trade for the striker oh it's a rapid on the judges from it Ugh. Ugh. miserable okay so the trigger fizzles and we get our board eaten we get all three of these attackers eaten oh, I suppose striker trades for immutable vault Tide Binder Mage eats a soldier. Oh, he's no okay. He's keeping the Tide Binder Mage back. Um, yeah, I wish I had something to pump this zealot, but I just don't. Um, so already in my head, I'm I'm sideboarding shocks to kill those Tide Binder Mages. Um, <coughs> Searing Blood already hits them, but uh, I think we can probably cut Fire Fist Strikers. They are very good. Maybe that's wrong. I don't like cutting one drops out of this deck. And of the two drops, I think Striker's the worst of them. Ash Zealot and Burning Tree could both be very, very good. Maybe it's Ash Zealot. Ash Zealot doesn't match up particularly well against Night Veil Spectre and Rapid Hybridization, whereas Fire Fist Striker does. But the haste is relevant. Okay, we're going to take four here. And uh, hope to draw good things. It's not the worst of things. That 2 3 cloud from Raptor is really awkward. I don't like any of these attacks. I'm 
I'm gonna play Burning Tree. <clears throat> I am almost certain I'm playing this matchup all wrong. Um, I don't know. We'll wait and see. I also kind of feel like I don't have enough um, removal main deck. I'm not gonna attack with anything here. It all just runs into his stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it could be that the main deck needs shocks or strikes or one of those. Um, probably not mortars. Okay. I'm kind of out of this game. An overloaded Dino Charge would do some good work. It might even up the board, maybe even push it in my favor. Who knows? Another mountain is not going to help me. So I've got two turns left before his flyers kill me. Um, although I can't. <laughs> Even if I had two turns on an unobstructed board. Like, this is more than a two-turn clock. Um, so we're going to pass. I think it's over. Feels over. Like, even if I draw something next turn, it lets me basically trade for his entire board. The Flyers kill me the following turn. And <coughs> Searing Blood does not kill that Raptor anymore. Okay, yeah, we take all that damage. And a cackler is not going to clinch it. Alright. I'm going to send with everything here. Uh, just because reasons. But um, we are dead. <sighs> yeah, maybe the deck does need main deck like the strikes. I could see those being pretty good. Don't know what to cut though, really. Maybe it's the Dino Chargers, maybe they're just not good enough. So we are going to be citing out Dino Charges in favor of Shocks, I believe. Or maybe Strikes are better. We're going to be on the play. And Tidebinder Mage dies to a Lightning Strike and a Searing Blood, but a Lightning Strike will kill a Night Veil Spectre as well, which is also a problem card. Um, so yeah, we are going to cut three Dino Charge and one a Chrome Crusader in favor of four Lightning Strikes. Did I just put in a shock by mistake? I did. Alright, and we're going to run this back. <coughs> I don't know what blue brings in about against decks like ours. Um, the mono blue lists I've been seeing recently have their entire sideboard built against blue white or Esper, one of those blue white X control decks. And yes, I'd like to play first. And don't have a, just don't have the uh, that's a mulligan. Unfortunately, just don't have the. Um, we're gonna keep this. Don't have the slots to uh, to sideboard against a deck like ours. We're going to lead with Rakdos Cackler. Because it 
attacks through a judge is familiar, whereas a fire drinker said it would trade. Judge is familiar, incidentally, would be really bad here. Okay. So we're going to swing. And if we lose the mana screw again, that's sad. But, like I say, you, you do pay a cost for running 20 lands and this is it. Sometimes you don't hit the second one. Cloudfin again, and Judge Familiar evolving both. That'd be a pretty strong turn. Yeah. Also, yeah, this is not not fun times. Um, so we just crash with both here. We have Maka and Titan Strength and a. Seder to follow up. I'd rather use the strength if it uh, if it does the same job. And the reason is I'd like to scry one. I am going to use the strength. I'm going to use the strength on this cackler, and it's three extra damage that gets lets me scry one as well. If he sacks the judge's familiar, so be it. I'm putting that right on the butt. Yeah, we're putting that on the bottom. We just really want our second land. Start casting these strikes and bloods. Blech. So. Yeah, we're going to take four here. Alright, we're going to send with both again. And we're basically going to... going to mark his, uh, his judges through his judges familiar. I think that's going to be the plan. Take two off of our fire drinker, Seder. He can't judges familiar the Maka. Um, no, you know what? I actually don't like this play. They still trade. I'm still going to take two damage. I actually think the correct play is to let them trade and follow up with another Fire Drinker Setter. I think the Maka has more value. I really need to see um, the second land soon. Although it's it's starting to get to a stage where it won't matter. Cloud from Raptors won't get hit by it. By a strike. Especially if this is a Night Veil Spectre. Uh, so we're going to take six here. <coughs> oh, three. And just sit and pray for a second land. I'm not sure how much it does anymore. You know, you have those games sometimes. We've drawn a few cards and none of them have been land, and it's just not good enough, unfortunately. Um, we're going to attack. We're going to attack with both. We can't block, so... For one thing, they have flying, and for another thing, even if we could block, you know, neither of these work on blocks. So, we're going to mark it down. Hmm, I wonder if it's correct to, to kill the Cloudfin rather than the Fire Drinker Seder. Uh, rather than the Night Veil Spectre, I should say. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come up, but I think that is correct, because the, you know, 
Spectre. The Raptor can get bigger. Off of, if you cast something like a um, Rapid Hybridization. Or... Actually, maybe that was incorrect. There's not a lot that evolves it at this stage. Plus, now a Thassa is a creature. It was probably, and a Master of Waves is much bigger. It was almost certainly correct to kill the Night Vale. Yeah, yeah, it almost certainly was. But I, I, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, to be totally honest with you. I'm going to take the 6, go to 1. He gets a look at a Lightning Strike. And we see another Night Vale. Alright. So this game just didn't go our way. Like I say, you get games like that. Um, I think we definitely could have had that game if we had our second land, even on turn three. <sighs> but, you know, cookie crumbles that way sometimes, kids. <clears throat> Maybe I should stop keeping one land hands, but I feel like the deck's fairly well positioned to use them a lot of the time. I could be just entirely wrong about that. Um, Alright. I'm going to stop whining and see you guys in round three.